to all. Um, I'm here again. This is Andrew Olasiman, and I'm here again to share God's holy words. Actually, to read only God's holy words before we sleep. Um, it's good. It's good for us to practice this so that um, uh, we will be trained before sleeping. We have word of God before we sleep, right? So let's just read together and let the Holy Spirit um, enter into our lives and let Him uh, give us revelation to the messages that we are about to read. So before anything else, uh, I would like to ask for a prayer. Um, if we are going to read the Bible, we need to pray for God to 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 help us understand his holy words because without his presence we can never understand without the holy spirit um, revealing the things in these words we can never understand that's why we need to ask god for for his presence okay lord let us all bow down our heads open close our eyes and open our hearts to our living jesus christ hallelujah lord hallelujah lord lord Thank you so much, Lord, for this day, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that we receive from you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the protection, for the daily provisions, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the security, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your presence in our lives, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the strength that you have given to us, the good health, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the people that you have used as an instrument, Lord, in our lives, Lord, to bless our lives, Lord. Thank you also, Lord, for our family and friends, Lord. And Lord, um, thank you for this opportunity, Lord, that we are able to read your holy words, Lord, before we go to sleep. Lord, um, we are also asking for forgiveness, Lord, sa, sa, for all of our sins, Lord, um, for for whatever we have done, spoken, and thought, Lord, that you did not, uh, that you do not want, Lord Jesus Christ, that, that, that hurts you, Lord. Lord, forgive us, Lord. For all of our sins lord as you said in your word in first john 1 9 if we confess our sins you are faithful and just to forgive all of our sins and cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness thank you lord for forgiving all of our sins lord and now lord i believe that we are now worthy now lord to to read your holy words lord allow us lord to understand your holy words and reveal something in our lives lord and help us also, Lord, not only to read, not only to reason, but especially, Lord, to apply each word, Lord, you have given to us in our lives, Lord. And also, Lord, help us, Lord, to share your words, Lord, to our family and friends. Thank you so much, Lord, for your love, for your grace, and your mercy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord, through your Son, in Jesus' name, and all of us will say, Amen. Glory to God. So let us read. The tip for reading a Bible is, um, a Bi the Bible has... Um, Old Testament and New Testament if you are a new Christian or if you're not uh, always reading the Bible we suggest that you always read first the New Testament because it's all about Jesus Christ and his miracles his teachings so this is the book of Matthew Matthew chapter 1 the introduction for before uh, the introduction of this book matthew is one of the four gospels which together make up about half of the new testament they are called gospels an old english word meaning good news because they tell the good news about jesus christ and the kingdom of god each gospel is told from a different point of view the importance of doing what is right and obedience to God are important themes in Matthew. The gospel starts with Jesus' birth and ends with his death and resurrection. Some of Jesus' most quoted sayings came from his famous Sermon on the Mount, chapter 5 through 7 of this gospel. Chapter 1, The Ancestors of Jesus. Jesus Christ came from the family of King David, and also from the family of Abraham. And this is a list of his ancestors. From Abraham to King David, his ancestors were Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah, and his brothers Judah's sons were Perez and Zerah, and their mother was Tamar, Hezron, Ram, Aminadab, Nashon, Salmon, Boaz. His mother was Rahab. 
Obed, his mother was Ruth, Jess, and King David. From David to the time of the exile in Babylonia or Babylonia, the ancestors of Jesus were David, Solomon, his mother had been Uriah's wife, Rehoboam, Abijah, Asa, Jehoshaphat, Jehoram, Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, Manasseh, Ammon, Josea, and Jehoiakim and his brothers. From the exile to the birth of Jesus, his ancestors were Jehoiakim, Shealtiel, Zerubbabel, Abiod, Eliakim, Azor, Zadok, Akim, Eliud, Elizar, Mathan, Jacob, and Joseph, the husband of Mary, the mother of Jesus, who is called the Messiah. There were 14 generations from Abraham to David. There were also 14 from David to the exile in Babylonia and 14 more to the birth of Messiah. Verse 18, chapter 1, verse 18, the birth of Jesus. This is how Jesus Christ was born. A young woman named Mary was engaged to Joseph from King David's family. But before they were married, she learned that she was going to have a baby by God's Holy Spirit. Joseph was a good man and did not want to, to be embarrassed, to embarrass Mary in front of everyone. So he decided to quietly call off the wedding. While Joseph was thinking about this, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, the baby that Mary will have is from the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and marry her. Then after her baby is born, name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. So the Lord's promise came true just as the prophet had said. A virgin will have a baby boy and he will be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. After Joseph woke up, he and Mary were soon married, just as the Lord's angel had told him to do. But they did not sleep together before her baby was born. Then Joseph named him Jesus. The Wise Man When Jesus was born in the village of Bethlehem in Judea, Herod was king. During this time, some wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and said, Where is this child born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard about this, he was worried, and so was everyone else in Jerusalem. Herod brought together the chief priests and the teachers of the law of Moses and asked them, Where will be the Messiah be born? They told him, He will be born in Bethlehem, just as the prophet wrote, Bethlehem in the land of Judea, you are very important among the towns of Judea. From your town will come a leader who will be like a shepherd for my people Israel. Herod secretly called in the wise men and asked them when they had first seen the star. He told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, let me know. I want to go and worship him too. The wise men listened to what the king said and then left. And the star they had seen in the east went on ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. They were thrilled and excited to see the star. When the men went into the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother, they knelt down and worshipped him. They took out their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh and gave them to him. Later, they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod, and they went back home by, an in by another road. The Escape to Egypt After the wise men had gone, an angel from the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, hurry and take the child and his mother to Egypt, 
Stay there until I tell you to return because Herod is looking for the child and wants to kill him. That night, Joseph got up and took his wife and the child to Egypt where they stayed until Herod died. So the Lord's promise came true just as the prophet had said, I called my son out of Egypt. The killing of the children in verses 16 in verse 16 chapter 2 verse 16 when herod found out that the wise man from the east had tricked him he was very angry he gave orders for his men to kill all the boys who lived in or near bethlehem and were two years old and younger this was based on what he had learned from the wise man so the lord's promise came true just as the prophet jeremiah had said in Ramah, a voice was heard crying and weeping loudly. Rachel was mourning for her children and she refused to be comforted because they were dead. The Return from Egypt After King Herod died, an angel from the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph while he still in Egypt. The angel said, Get up and take the child and his mother back to Israel. The people who wanted to kill him are now dead. Joseph got up and left with them for Israel. But when he heard that Herod's son Archelaus was now ruler of Judea, he was afraid to go there. Then in a dream, he was told to go to Galilee, and they went to live there in the town of Nazareth. So the Lord's promise came true, just as the prophet had said, He will be called a Nazarene. The Preaching of John the Baptist Years later, John the Baptist started preaching in the desert of Judea. He said, Turn back to God. The kingdom of heaven will soon be here. John was the one the prophet Isaiah was talking about when he said, In the desert, someone is shouting, Get the road ready for the Lord. Make a straight path for him. John wore clothes made of camel's hair. He had a leather strap around his waist and ate grasshoppers and wild honey. From Jerusalem and all Judea from the Jordan River Valley, crowds of people went to John. They told how sorry they were for their sins, and he baptized them in the river. Many Pharisees and Sadducees also came to be baptized, but John said to them, You bunch of snakes! Who warned you to run from the coming judgment? Do something to show that you have really given up your sins? And don't start telling yourselves that you belong to Abraham's family. I tell you that God can turn these stones into children for Abraham. An axe is ready to cut the trees down at their roots. Any tree that doesn't produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into a fire. I baptize you with water so that you will give up your sins, but someone more powerful is going to come, and I am not good enough even to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His threshing fork is in his hand, and he is ready to separate the wheat from the husks. He will store the wheat in a barn and burn the husk in a fire that never goes out. The Baptism of Jesus Jesus left Galilee and went to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. But John kept objecting and said, I ought to be baptized by you. Why you have come to me? Jesus answered, For now this is how it should be, because we must do all that God wants us to do. Then John agreed. So Jesus was baptized. And as soon as he came out of the water, the sky opened, and he saw the Spirit of God coming down on him like a dove. Then a voice from heaven said, This is my own dear Son, and I am pleased with him. Glory to God, we already finished the book of Matthew from chapter 1, 2, and 3. And tomorrow, before we sleep again, we will together read, starting from Matthew chapter 4 and so on. So thank you so much for reading with me the word of God and I pray that God will bless your life, God will bless the life of your family and God will protect us from from 
during our sleep and I pray also for a victorious day for tomorrow in our work in school or anything that we are doing that we are going to do tomorrow I pray that it will be a victorious day and we will be filled with so much um, love of God in our lives thank you for watching and to God be all the glory and praises God bless us all and good night